The Midwest is known for its inconsistent weather. One day it's sunny and 70, and the next it's 40 and rainy. With a drastic change in weather, how do outdoor sports like softball and baseball remain competitive with teams who don't have the same challenges? Both teams arrived on campus in January, but with snow still on the ground, they are forced to practice in a combined space. When you're inside, you're in a very more um, uh, controlled climate. The temperature's always the same. You're never um, dealing with outside elements like rain or in the winter, sometimes snow. You do the best you can to try to simulate outside sports in tighter spaces. Um, the benefit is you can get a lot of reps uh, in the inside spaces um, that you kind of can miss a little bit outside. Um, but when you really break it down, like we play baseball outside, not inside. The teams have gotten creative in their attempt to get as much work in as possible. The biggest games we play is in bad weather. Like the more experience you can have handling the baseball uh, in the cold, right? Understanding what those elements look like because in March and April, it's not like the light switch turns on and it's 70 degrees, right? You're playing in 35, 40 degrees and you gotta be able to play at a high level in big leverage spots and pressure situations and have the elements not affect you as much as it affects your opponent. Both teams play down south against opponents who are able to play outside year round. There's always a learning curve for northern teams or midwest teams that have spent the majority of their time inside when they go south and they play individuals that have, that have been able to dedicate their time a little bit more judiciously between offense, defense, pitching. Although the space is small, there are still upsides from practicing inside. The teams that have come from the north have been able to really hone in on what they want to do offensively where the teams in the South did spend a little bit more time with defense and all those sorts of things. I'm Gabe Kermode, reporting for Globe Sports.